chair recognizes the gentleman from Texas, the ranking member of the full committee, Mr. Barton. I was um, somewhat uh, taken back, Mr. Vice President, by your listing of current environmental problems attributed to global warming. Uh, you did miss a few, though. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys have not won a playoff game in 10 years. You didn't mention that. And you also, uh, as Mr. Markey pointed out to me, the uh, Boston, uh, the New England Patriots didn't make it to the Super Bowl. That, that I would add those to the list of problems uh, that you enumerate. Congressman Barton, um, I want to address your, the point that you made about the science. I don't question uh, your sincerity for one moment. And I don't question yours, so we're equal on that. Thank you. I believe that it's important to, to look at the sources of the science that we rely on. With all due respect, I believe that you have relied on people you have trusted who've given you bad information. I don't blame the investors who trusted Bernie Madoff, but he gave them bad information. I've never talked and, to Bernie and Madoff. I'm not saying that you. I'm not saying that you have. But he gave them bad information, and committed a massive fraud that ended up hurting most of all the people who trusted him. Senator Warner made reference in his opening statement to the story on the front page of the New York Times this morning. Absolutely incredible. The largest corporate carbon polluters in America, 14 years ago, asked their own people to conduct a review of all this science. And their own people told them what the international scientific community is saying is correct. There is no legitimate basis for denying it. Then these large polluters committed a massive fraud far larger than Bernie Madoff's fraud. They are the Bernie Madoffs of global warming. They ordered the censoring and removal of the scientific review that they themselves conducted. And like Bernie Madoff, they lied to the people who trusted them in order to make money. And the Ms. CEO Ms. of the largest, if I could I, just finish my well, response I don't to Congressman Look, the I will stipulate that CO2 concentrations are going up. There's no debate about that. They're about 380 parts per million, and they're going to rise in the neighborhood of 500 parts per million in the next 50 to 100 years. I'll stipulate that. Now, the consequences of that, and whether that's because of man-made CO2, I think are debatable. And I don't know about this scientific peer review that you just talked about, but if somebody lied about something 14 years ago, I'm sure Mr. Waxman and Mr. Markey will conduct an investigation and oversight hearing into that. My question to you was about the cost of the, uh, the allowance system. How are we going to pay for it? And how many jobs are we going to lose? Now, if you've got information about something that happened 14 years ago, I'm sure, again, our chairman and subcommittee chairman, uh, Mr. Stupak, who's the oversight subcommittee chairman, will look at it. But it's, answer my question about the cost, yeah, please. It's on the front page of the New York Times today by Andrew Revkin. The, the leading corporate carbon polluters themselves conducted a review of this science and found that it's valid. And to the point you made a moment ago, they verified in their own studies that man-made global warming is raising temperatures and causing this crisis. Like Bernie, like Bernie Madoff, they lied about it in order to make money, and they themselves profited. The CEO of the largest got a one-time payment of $400 million. Now, again, those who have trusted them and believed them are due an apology. These corporations ought to apologize to the American people for conducting a massive fraud for the last 14 years.
Gentlemen's time has expired. Gentlemen's time has expired.